Once again, I welcome you to Mournful Walrus. I am your host, Stephen Weathers, and with me today I have Andrew and Mr. D. We are continuing our adventure in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Enjoy. And let me show you what this super secret is. There's a when you get block? when you get oh. the, the double jump ability, you get this special thing where you can drop kick people. Awesome. Not, a, not exactly drop kick, but what happens is you so can awesome. <laughs> basically what you can do is you can jump and you press jump again and down and you you drop kick. You fly down and kick. It's All pretty right. cool. And the only way you can do that is if you have the double jump. Sure. According to some people. Okay. <laughs> Ominous, but okay. But, however, there's one other very special method, which I will now show you. Sure, sure, sure. Is it going back to 300 feet? Yes, no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Much like Hong Kong 87 or whatever. Are you prepared? What you do is turn into the wolf. Done and so done. So, first, right now, is I'm trying to make it to this platform. Oh. How do you do this? As a wolf, I guess. What you do is you turn into a wolf, do a high jump, turn into a wolf, now you can drop kick, <laughs> and now you can make it here! That it was wolf. absurd. Let's do this again, okay? <laughs> Let's do this again. Just, just make sure understand. everyone's watching. Turn into a wolf, uh -huh. hold up and press jump, sure. turn back into a person, hold down and press jump. And kick off the torch. And you can do a drop, you can do your drop kick. And then miss the easy jump. One more time. <laughs> hold up, jump. Oh, I missed! You are human, I knew it. <laughs> uh, who designed this game? Like, legitimate question. What else has you done? Really cool people. <laughs> Fair enough. So what we are doing is we are now doing the Colosseum in All Rock's Quarters. Out of order. All Rock's Quarters. It's a Skeller Ring. Yep. That's I don't weird. like them. <laughs> A secret wall. Whatever will we find here? Candy. Probably a pot roast. Cheese. Onyx, which is a thing, and then the broadsword, which is a stronger version of the sword I'm using right now. And now I'll switch to that one because I'm gonna switch to the cheese. You, there's all these random food items that you'll find that you'll pick up. They just heal you an indiscriminate amount. Sure. I'm not using broadsword. You'll notice a much broader reach, but <laughs> the broadsword has a broader reach, you say. Than the short sword, yes. Now this guy. The giant flying. Okay. The the armory. Oh, it's a poltergeist. Okay. I feel like I've seen this weapon in almost everything else. You notice how weak I am, basically, to... Yeah, yeah, to you don't seem to be doing anything. I, I can, but... Well, actually, I think what I'll do right now... Let's look at two more away. enemies. All I right. do not like these guys. With a hammer. That's kind of terrifying. Like, that, that's like 13 go scary. Which is an interesting thing to say, because it was not that scary, but it, I saw it at a very young age. This guy is worse, though. Not that young. The running blades. He's dead. Yay. He's like, oh, he oh, throws if I throw a sword at you first, but I miss. That doesn't hurt you though when he throws a sword. Really? Um, Look, another gap, which I can't do anything about. What if you turn to a wolf and kick off a torch? <laughs> <laughs> There's a shh. It's been exposed. The goat. Yay, goat. It's the Sata Goat. Oh, well, didn't you tell me that uh, a goat kicked your dog at some point? No. <laughs> a goat did not kick my dog, and we'll, we'll have to discuss that later, okay? Okay, it's okay. <laughs> no hard feelings. Level up! The rabbit are up. I like how we're completely inconsistent with what to say. <laughs> Every time. I know. Let's not die. No promises. Yay! I said no promises. 
Coliseum. Oh yeah, you said oh, yeah. That's yeah. where things get real serious. Soup's crazy. Andrew would know because he has played this game like thirty <laughs> times. <laughs> I would I know because I've already said that. Yeah. I would not know because not know. Here we will see possibly the most depressing enemy in the entire game. Is it like a stick that swings hanging bodies at you from nooses? Nope. Depressing. Yeah. I mean, like, it's a gallo, and it swings bodies at you as a weapon. No, depressing. What are you not getting here? <laughs> the enemy cries you to death? You'll see. Is it a dead baby that just lays there? My clothes. Well, <laughs> in, in video number three, <laughs> you'll see something. Is that a dead dragon? Actually, that is a notable enemy from another Castlevania game. Nice. If you are prepared, we are about to see I think the enemy in question, which I was speaking of, but this is it. Huh. Like, that was, that was her? We didn't even see her. That was a big blood cloak. Blood cloak. Swag. Nice. I think. Converts damage to heart, so I, whenever you get hit, then it pops out harder to for you. Okay. So, hope. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, this this enemy right here, this big gold dude, yeah. has the potential to drop the best item in the game. Really? But the only way to have that happen is if you've already beaten the game. Surprise. So let's not worry about that. Okay. Let's just say it's the one ring to go. <laughs> um no. And the one ring to find them. And then the darkness, you can make it that one. Like, like a midnight snack and stuff, right? That's how it goes? Yeah, yeah. I mean that sounds like the hobbit. Lots of sandwiches. We always talk about second breakfast and eleven seeds. What about third through fifties? Fifty. That's a weird thing to say. Yes, it didn't hit me. Nice! <laughs> the See Hollow that? Knight. Basically, if that hits you, it just makes you fly out of the level and then you have to start over. <laughs> not out of the level, but just out of the screen, and it's really annoying. I would think. But luckily, you're not just do extra damage to him. And the Axe Knights also drop a sweet shield. Sweet shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the most depressing enemy in the game. Pirate War? No. Is the Owl Knight. Would you like to see why? Kill his bird? Yeah. Do you want to see? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Just out of depression. He just waits, and then he goes into psycho mode. Yeah. You killed my bird! Makes you unbelievable bastard. Settle down, Malachi. It was self-defense, I swear. My name is Owl Hunter. You killed my bird. Prepare to die. Green tea. Would you like to see what happens when you eat cheese? <laughs> Ooh, I know what happens to me when I yes. eat cheese. Are you prepared? <laughs> Doubt it. You throw it. Yay! Okay. So you soak it with green tea pool and it heals you? No. Uh, so <laughs> I, I don't yes. know. Just, so I thought it was green tea, the, the pool, because you got that item in there. See, he runs over and bows stick to the L, but then you can <sighs> punch him in the face a couple of times. Oh, how about the L? I, I should have like my bird's death. Well, let's assume Alucard is like, what, 6 foot 2? Yeah. So the, so that guy's like, what, 9? Oh, you crippled me and I exploded. Should have struck you down, but I mourn for my bird. We had a special relationship. You wouldn't understand. Um, I'm not gonna disagree, but, um... This, yeah. this room you cannot make, no, you can make it through, but you'll most likely just die. And what happens is at the end of the room, there's money. Just a lot of money. Yeah. And so, at a future point, you can float in. Yeah, it's here. It's like like fog it's or mist. <laughs> Look at your cloak's all getting bloody red and all. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So one thing that you notice is the weapons do change color and shape, uh, depending on what you're using, as well as your cape. Uh, whatever cape you're using. So cape is the most obvious, I'd say. Cape is the most obvious, and you get a thing that's called J uh, 
called Joseph's Cloak. And what happens is you get control of the color of it completely. Oh, really? Yeah. Who's Joseph and why does he like his colors? As in Joseph and the Technicolor Dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's expensive. You can't buy it until pretty much later unless you do certain things. And... Like go to that room full of people. Or... There are other methods. Jolly B. Yeah. Once again, you're whoa. Ah. It's a helicopter of death. This would have been a dead end. Huzzah! Nope. Gee, could you imagine if my hotel was still alive, like, but actually did the same thing like that speed of we'll walk, nobody would touch him. He would just Okay. Shh. Very important mo moment is about to come upon. You got a library card. So Whoa. Maria the Page Master. So so if we're pretending that this game has a plot, which I guess it does, <laughs> Maria is looking for a Richter. Library card? Because Richter is the dude you were playing as in the beginning. Yeah. He killed Dracula, then went missing. Okay. Because he was Dracula too. Well that's the question. See. So now I'm coming in with the gas one. <laughs> Who are you? Open Hell's Gate. Oh. Come forth, my servant. I love his hair. Fabulous. I had it perm. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> got, uh oh. You got a minotaur dude and a hyena that punches. <laughs> Just like that. Yay! Oh, man, how cheap. <laughs> No offense. <laughs> That's right. I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. What does that mean? He's a Dracula. But is he? He's a werewolf. He's a were Dracula. What? He's a were Dracula? He's a werepire, obviously. You know, he's a Dracwolf. No, yeah, Dracwolf. I think my vote is still a. Uh... Werecula. Yeah. But what is this on the other side? The blinking light. Whatever could it be? A blinking light. It is the oh. form of... Oh, sorry, I almost misread what it's... I thought it said. Form of mist. Form of... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What? <laughs> nothing. You've okay. heard the sound of nothing. No, it wasn't the sound of nothing. I was the sound of Andrew going... Yeah, 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 yeah. So if... If you are one of the ultra omega hardcore gamers playing through this game and you've discovered how to do things, there's people who beat the entire game with only killing one enemy. And that one enemy that you have to kill is in this room. Is it that one? It's one of these guys. One of these blade masters. Because he's in the way. Uh, it makes it so you can do like a phase glitch through the floor and like, ah. skip to the back side of that boss room and skip the whole fight. If we so chose. Maybe next time. So now we have the form of mist. Make it so we can do other fancy things. Yeah. yeah. Ow! Not get punched with a something. You notice that my defense isn't too good, my health isn't too good. It's because you're doing this out of order. Oh yeah, because of the secret thingy. Yes. So now I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. First reject. Looks like we completed that whole little section. There was a ceiling room that I couldn't reach. That's right. You have to attack the ceiling. <laughs> Wait, you do? Ouch. Magic. I feel like you can't attack upwards. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. You guys hungry? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, but, I, mean, I, I am excited about that stupid on board. <laughs> <laughs> You're excited about it. Yeah, how do you, how's that sound to you guys? Potentially. Potentially. 
So I will show you. So this is like doubling up on this trick. Oh, In so order to get into this right side, you also have to kill the statue. You have to use a time stop clock, which opens it. And then I'll I'll do this, and then I'll do this trick on this side. And then quickly jump out the way. Yeah. Huh. You know what this gives you is the Alucard shield. Not the Alucard. Alucard. <laughs> Alucard. Dracula. And Dracula. <laughs> I'll show you what this means. Alucard mail and Alucard sword. What you do is you equip them. Is it like a Chinese knockoff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Resembles family sword. Resembles. Resembles family shield. And... Resist fire, lightning, and ice. ice. <laughs> but now, now look at my luck. Luck. Oh. It goes up by 30. Whoa. If you equip all three of them, it increases your luck dramatically, which increases the number of critical hits you do, as well as makes it so enemies drop rare items more often. So in other words, you just went super or something. No. You got super lucky. The, the thing is, you it lowers your leprechaun. defense, it lowers your attack. And so overall, you know, I, I don't really... I don't dig it too much, but when you're farming for certain items from certain enemies, right. it's, it's a very worthwhile venture. So it's, like, it's, it's kind of like holding a leprechaun under your armpit because you don't have a good defense because you can't block as well, and your your other arm's taken so you can't attack as well either. But you're super lucky, right? Yeah. So it's a pocket leprechaun, just like that. Except not your pocket, leprechaun, your armpit. Okay, where are you heading now? What's next? So now we are heading towards what are they? The Let's just call it against? the D. Uh, the darkness? We're going to the caverns below the castle. The darkness. Underground caverns. Okay, so I think this is roughly where we're gonna make our next break. Sounds good. Well, from here all we get to do is go deeper. So you just go down the stairs? But you go down. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 stop that. Uh, that was funny. I didn't see anything. Okay, so, end of episode two, part of blank. Probably eight or nine or so. Uh, I've been your host, Stephen Weathers. With me, I've got Andrew, Mr. D, and Marty Do, who play a thing. I'm not. She's not really here. She's doing her own thing. But she's here in physicality, but not in spirit, so, you know, whatever. Just assume I'm not into it. Yeah. So you know that song, if you're into it, it it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. three people get that joke. Okay, um... Alright, until next time. Goodbye. See ya. Dos, <laughs> Madonna.